This show is sponsored by PSE Archery, Axe Broadheads, Millennium Tree Stands, The Chase Deer Scent, Extreme Archery Products, Antler Insanity. Welcome Reality Hunt Club. In this webisode we'll be talking about our second batch of trail camera photos. So come let's see what the trail cameras caught in the woods. It always amazes me what the cameras catch. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go over some of these photos. I'm going to make it short. Um, this, this, these webisodes seem to go longer as I start talking about more and more of the deer. I want to go over some of our young bucks first. Um, we've got some real nice up-and-comer. Um, this picture here, you see a bunch of does in the, on our power line food plot with the soybeans. What amazes me is that buck actually looks like he's starting to chase and harass those deer, which this is that same deer at that feeder. So he's a, he's a young, nice little buck. You know, he's probably... He's probably he's probably a two maybe a three year old type deer and all these are young i would consider it twos and threes and um you know nice little deer you know there he is again at that supplement feeder um a little fawn as you can see he's doing pretty good pretty healthy um bucks in the background it's been a month the last time i did these pictures was june 20th and I got these July 20th, so it's been about a month. And there's a guy, I don't know if he's already chipped off his right brow time or what, but as you can see, there's a lot of deer out there. Um, let me see what else we got. You know, he's an interesting looking character. As these, as these bucks get a little bit older, we're going to um, pull out last year's pictures and be able to see them as a, a two-year-old or a three-year-old or however old they were and be able to see how much growth they had. You know, as as I said in the previous webisode, lots lots of weren't rain. Um, these are three bucks here that I know we've got pictures of last year that are twos and threes, and um, they're actually at a watering hole that we have. Daytime photos, looking good and healthy. And what's interesting is so much rain, you can see how the water's come up. Luckily, all my corn was gone, and um, that's where my corn pile was, which was really high and dry. And now you can see it is um, underwater. Now this guy is a stud for a three-year-old. I mean, he has got some potential. Um, we'll be looking at him a little bit more. All right. They're back on the power line. This is another one of our studs. I mean, that's a good-looking three-year-old there. Um, another supplement feeder we got. Another three-year-old stud. All right, we back around, okay? Let me see here. All right, I got a couple things. One's an update on our buddy that got the, the leg shot. He's still going. Um, it was right after I pulled the cards. He's still alive. Um, he don't seem to be hurt that bad. You know, his ant's going to affect his antlers. I hate to see it like this. Now, we got a picture of this doe um, on one of our feeders, and it, I asked a bunch of people and we all agreed that that's a bullet hole. Somebody has shot this deer and um, it looks like recently. What's interesting about her getting shot is she's got two healthy fawns and the fawns look like they're doing good. That just to me shows you how um, tough these animals are. And um, I'm anxious to see that's the only series of pictures I had her with her. I'm anxious to see what the hole looks like on the other side of the net but those two fawns were right behind her when she come through there i'm going backwards now and um you know the deer are tough obviously she's she's got some kind of injury but she's still nursing those fawns so i thought that was pretty cool you never know what you're going to get 
when you pull that car out of that camera and you stick it in there it's truly it's truly like christmas you never know what's what's going to be in there so we'll go on to the next batch turkey pulse I, this is the most turkey pulse i've ever had um on camera pulse are looking really good you see a bunch of them out in the field there they're they're starting to grow um we busted we busted some of these and i'm pretty sure they could fly i mean they were flying look how big that one is right there so i got different age groups of pulse you see they're really big in those pictures there so it's real interesting when you see the big old hens fly then you see a little bitty one fly that's always pretty cool to see let me see all right um what else we got all right i wanted to call this webisode something else but i decided not to now i've got the last since last four weeks you know since june 20th this coyote has showed up on our property and one thing he likes to do is poop or pee in my corn pile i mean this is one of the photos where he's doing it and then here's another photo on the power line about a mile away and here's another location another half mile away so basically he's running around you doing his business in my corn piles in front of my cameras so we're calling him the mad pooper and we're definitely going to try to shoot him with rifles you know if it's not a fox doing it it's a coyote doing it it's definitely marking their maturity mar marking their area i'm sorry all right um these are those eight points i was showing you before at the 256 feeder a little bit right after you know i was showing you june 20th here's the 23rd um you know they're they're fine looking animals um they're we we going back and forth i think they're fours and um chuck thinks they're threes here here they are walking on another piece of property you know they're they're good looking animals um i'm excited about trying to hunt them um nice and wide eight points you know this is june i'm i'm kind of curious to see hadn't been up there in a while kind of curious to see how high their tines are growing um there's one walking a side view down a fire break that we have now this is a this is a stud he's a three three and a half year old believe it or not we've got pictures of him i'm about to dig him out for this last batch the trail cameras later on but i just didn't have time this time he's a three and the guy on the on his um right is a two and um it's a good looking kind of reminds me of another buck you know the famous sway there's a daytime picture of the of one of those eight points he's actually going to be a nine so good looking deer good looking deer that was the only mature ones i would consider shooting at this time so got more immature bucks than we did mature a lot of a lot of people say i would shoot those mature bucks but uh those immature bucks that i just showed you earlier but you know they're twos and threes i've got deer on the wall most of the club members got deer on the wall so i we're calling them um, immature even though a three-year-old probably would be considered mature if all that doesn't confuse you good good you know anyway complicated enough right um one thing we do have this time is we've we've had some people riding four wheelers on our properties and i just want to show you we use our plot watcher and we caught these young ladies riding on our property on three different days and when you ride on our properties and are you trespass on our property we will get a picture of you and once we get a picture of you we're going to take it to the sheriff's department and we will get him to warn you to stay off our property and if we get you the second time we will file criminal trespassing against you or your your guardians um these kids are riding up and down that fire break i showed you those mature bucks walking up and down that fire break so these kids being on our property is not a good thing it's going to definitely push our animals being nocturnal here it is in july you know i don't need any more additional pressure so we're in the process of catching people on our property and getting them off of it so anyway like i said we've got about four or five mature bucks like i showed you not a lot of photos of them but um as it gets closer to middle august we should be getting more photos the second the first and second cameras you know first and second batch of trail camera photos are always kind of kind of fizzly because they're just starting to grow but now it's almost you know now it's actually past the first of august the antlers are getting up they've got another 15 to 18 days of growing so um what what we're going to see on the camera is what they're going to is what they're going to have to carry through the year 
So um, we'll start comparing those to last year's photos. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to make it a little bit shorter. So um, thanks for watching Rally Hunt Club. we got a lot more coming at you. Um, the season's only about a month away. Uh, yeah, the 14th of September when it opens up. So we're getting closer and closer to the season. So all this hard work is going to pay off. So thanks for watching. If you like this show, watch our other shows at hunt365.tv. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button on the screen or connect with us and receive notices of all our new episodes by liking our Facebook page.